Praise the Lord unto all of you. Grace and peace. It's your girl, Prophetess Pastor Teresa Moden. I just thank God for you this morning. And he just touched my heart about Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, for he shall direct thy path. This morning, trust God. Trust in whatever's going on. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name today, God. We lift you up because you alone are worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord shall be praised. We thank you, God, because you look down upon us and you blessed us and grant us an opportunity to stand in your presence and to trust you with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. We thank you for this proverb We thank you that it instructs us to put all our trust in you, Lord, and not to lean to our own understanding, our own knowledge, God. We exalt you as king this morning. We thank you for the deliverance that's in in the spirit. We decree and declare that every uh, ear that hear uh, this message will be delivered, be set free by the power of God, the soon coming king. And now, God, let thy kingdom come, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, God, we thank God uh, just to have an opportunity to come before the Father, uh, just to let him know we love him and we exalt his name this morning. And we know that any meaning of trusting God means that you have to have faith in God. Have faith in God. Uh, Don't trust in what you think and what you believe uh, in your own natural ability, but Trust in what God have already done in your life. You need to cry out to God while you have an opportunity. Run from the evil works of the enemy. And we know the enemy is just promoting evil in our land now. Uh, normalcy is, is a yesterday. And today we see nothing but total opposite of the word. Uh, you know, you'll be fought now because of the word. We're in that time now, the end time. Uh, If someone's listening to my voice, we are in the end time. Um, Normalcy of a man, woman, and child is what we call idiotic. But I want to serve notice against the enemy. The word will stand forever. Heaven and earth are going to pass away, but the word is going to stand forever. If God said in Genesis he created them, then guess what? That's what it is. Do not lean to your own understanding or you will be left behind. You will be lost. You will be caught up with the matters of this world. But I'm so grateful. Come on, let's give him praise. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, that I am not trusting in what I believe, but I'm trusting in the true and living God. I thank you, God, that We're not listening to what the news is saying. Well, we're trusting in you. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth. Yea, the deep things of God. If you know in your spirit that God checked you about something, turn from it. That's evil. You say, God, I'm praying to see if that's my husband and you're not married. And you know God checked you two, three times, showed you things that you didn't know. That's a sign. Get away from that thing. God wants the best for you. And then you got to rest in God. Rest in his love. God loved us so much that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. But I want you to trust him today like you never, ever, 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 ever trust God. Oh, this message contains just more than just a general statement, but it shows us that we can live and rest in God's daily presence. Amen. As we take step by step every day, we got to learn to trust the Father and we do honor you, Lord, this day. Yes, that's all I got. It's this, just this small message, but it's powerful because God, is in it. God is instructing us. Hallelujah. Because he that begun a good work in you, he is able to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. I promise you, if you trust God, he's going to bring you through. If you trust God and don't lean to your understanding, 
I promise you, you going to say, Lord, I thank you that I didn't do what I wanted to do, but I did what the spirit told me to do. I promise you this. You're going to say, Lord, I thank you that this woman was telling the truth. Yeah. I'm telling you, the enemy trying to trip us up because we're getting out of here. Mm hmm. We getting out of here, y'all. We got we got to stand for Jesus, or we gonna fall for anything. And I I choose to stand with God. I just do, because I know after it's all said and done, His word is gonna stand. Amen. And as I said before, Philippians one and six says, and this is really a familiar passage of scripture for all over the world. Is Philippians one and six, He who begun a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I trust that. I trust that, my God. I am certain that God is going to do it. I begin, I believe that he began it, and he's going to end it. He's Alpha. He's Omega. He's the beginning. He's the end. He's the soon coming king. Rest your heart in that belief. And trust in what the design of God is. Don't let nobody influence you with this wickedness, because it's wicked. God destroyed a whole city for that. Definitely. Yeah, I know I could be hit and flagged and talked about and mistreated. But guess what? Through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to trust in God. You do the same and watch, won't God let you make it into heaven. Father God, I bless you this morning. I glorify your name. For you alone are worthy. And this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice. And be glad in it. And I thank you, Father, for loving me like this, that I'm not afraid of man, but I lift your name up in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Until we meet again, remember Isaiah 54 and 17 says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Read your Bible daily. Pray daily. I don't care if you pray three minutes. That's something the Spirit gave me. Say, practice to pray three minutes till the glory come. Three minutes, get you some instrumental prophetic uh, worship and do three minutes. Set your time if you have to. I promise you, you'll go into the presence of God and the Father will speak to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you. I love you guys so much in Jesus' name. I am your girl, Prophetess Pastor Teresa Moten.